Welcome to DBeaver's YouTube channel. Today, we want to tell you about the SQL Editor, a powerful tool for creating and executing various SQL scripts. With the SQL Editor, you can write and execute scripts, save them as files, and reuse them later. To create a new SQL script or to open an existing one, go to the main menu, click SQL Editor, and select an appropriate option. Here, you can also open a recent script. By default, you can use the F3 button to open one of the latest scripts created with dBeaver. To open the most recent SQL script, use the Control and Enter shortcut in the Database Navigator view. If you do not select a specific database for your script, a special dialog will appear, which will prompt you to choose a connection. Many of our users prefer to write scripts in the SQL console, which is a possibility dBeaver provides. As scripts written in this way are not saved in a file format, in some cases, console is faster and more convenient to use. The SQL button above the navigation tree allows you to open SQL scripts as well as change the default command. For example, you can set up a quick opening of the console by clicking on this button. You can use the SQL editor not only for executing single queries like select, insert, drop, etc., but also for executing full scripts. Using buttons in the left toolbar, you can choose whether to execute a script or a query in the current tab or in a new tab. If you want to run only part of the script, highlight the lines you need and click on the Execute SQL Statement button. The editor highlights keywords, which is especially useful for large scripts. Different databases have different sets of reserved keywords and system functions, so highlighting depends on the database associated with the script you are working with. SQL Editor also supports auto-formatting. You can change the editor settings according to your personal needs. To do this, click on the gear icon and go to Editors, SQL Editor. Here, you can change the formatting, script processing settings, and more. For example, here you can change the work of the code completion. The SQL Editor also has a right-click context menu with a lot of options. For example, to convert a case, you need to select a part of the script, right-click, and go to Format, Uppercase, or Format lowercase. This feature will help you quickly tidy up the entire script for a better visual perception. Let's try to write and execute a couple of simple queries to demonstrate the essential features of the SQL editor. We will use our test database. Working with any of your tables will be the same. Imagine that you own a shop and store your customer data in a database. You can use queries to quickly analyze purchase statistics. Let's execute a select query to show you only those billing addresses for which the total value is greater than 10. You can see how auto-completion makes writing a query easier. Select the appropriate option from the list and press Enter to apply it. Then click on the Execute button. As a result set, you will see a table in the data editor. You can perform many operations on this table. Don't forget to watch our video about the data editor. We will leave a link in the description below. You will not see the result in the table form for some query types. For example, if you run the insert query, you'll see a message about the changes you've made or an error message. Let's check that our query worked and the row was added to the table. To do this, we need to execute a select query. As you can see in the result set, there is a new row in the table with the correct data. In the same way, you can write and execute various queries and work with different SQL scripts by using SQL Editor. To learn more about all the features of this tool, check the link to our wiki in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.